different people express love differently. For some, the language of love is a hug or holding hands. For some, the language of love is giving gifts. For some, the language of love is spending time, going out on a date. For some, the language of love is eating together. All the languages of love are languages of God. And today, we are face to face with another language of love coming from God. And what is it? A feast. To offer a feast, not just an ordinary meal. A feast, a banquet, is how the Lord expresses His love for us. The first reading speaks about a banquet. The gospel speaks about a banquet. There is no funeral banquet. A banquet is always an occasion of joy. There is rich food, there is choice wine, there is laughter, there is song, there are dances. Why? Because the Lord wants us to mark our Christianity with joy. The mark of Christianity is joy. And we hear that in the familiar song, Ang buhay ng Kristiyano ay masayang tunay. Ang ibig sabihin noon, ang Kristiyanong hindi masaya ay hindi totoong Kristiyano. Joy is a sure, infallible sign of Christian discipleship. But it is a joy that is under the shadow of the cross. Three things about joy. Number one, joy is a gift. It is a gift that only God can give. Joy is a gift from God. That is why when God wants to show His love for us, He did that by the wedding at Cana. He did that by the banquet of the Last Supper. He did that with eating in the house of the tax collector. He did that by allowing the sinful woman to fill the whole house with fragrance come from, coming from a broken alabaster jar. Joy. The Lord was not hesitant. The Lord was not uneasy to celebrate good wine and good food. And perhaps, He sang and He danced a lot. My dear brothers and sisters, it is true that the Lord asks us to carry our crosses daily. But you must not forget that the cross and joy go together. In other words, it is not prohibited to be happy. There is no obligation for all Christians to be always serious. There is no obligation for us to be sad. And it is not prohibited to laugh. Because joy is a sure mark of Christianity. Second, joy is our nature. How do we celebrate God's love for us? This Eucharist is a banquet. The banquet is prepared by the Lord and the Lord Himself becomes the food and the drink. So, where is joy in our Eucharist? Where is joy in, this, in the way we pray? We must find it. We must rediscover it. But the truth, my dear brothers and sisters, is we cannot spend our lives looking for joy. Because if you look for it, it will run away from you. How can you find joy? Joy is to be discovered by looking at the Lord. Because all joy is a gift. And when you choose to be happy, you actually give honor to the giver of all joys. But finally, my dear brothers and sisters, the gospel tells us today, joy is not just a gift. Joy 
is not just the nature of being Christians. Joy is our future. In heaven, we will celebrate an eternal banquet. A banquet where we will not worry about elevated sugar and cholesterol. A banquet that will not disturb our blood pressure and our health. A banquet that will be rich food and choice wines with dancing, with singing, with joy, with happiness. You better learn how to dance. You better learn how to sing here on earth so that the angels will know how to manage you when you go to heaven. Because it would be ridiculous and you would be out of place if you never learn how to dance, if you never learn how to sing, if you never learn how to be happy, if you never learn how to enjoy a good laugh, if you never learn how to enjoy good food and good wine in the name of the Lord who hosts us. My dear brothers and sisters, it is true we cannot be happy 365 days of the year. But we must bring joy into every day of our lives. In happiness, relish. In sadness, remember happiness. What is your proof that you are a Christian? The proof of Christianity is joy. And God expresses His love for us by preparing a rich banquet. It is not a thrifty banquet. It is a rich banquet flowing with milk and honey, flowing with rich food and choice wines. That is how God shows His love for us. In Christianity, we can be sad, we might grieve, we might worry. But in times when we are worried and grieving and sad, remember happiness because happiness is the plan of God for all of us.